Hi friends, Kurt Trebold here from One Tree Hill. So far the markets have been on a wild ride since the beginning of September. With a strong first two days of the month, followed by one of the sharpest 10% corrections ever for the tech-heavy NASDAQ, followed up once again with a bounce to the upside. This increased volatility has prompted some of you to express concern. Despite this, the case can be made that stocks may move modestly higher over the remainder of the year for several reasons. First, we're getting COVID-19 under control. Despite regional increases and persistent negative news commentary, as of September 10th, daily new na cases nationally have actually been cut in half from July's peak of more than 70,000. Hospitalizations have also followed the same path, and the daily number of deaths have been cut by a third since the start of August, according to the COVID tracking project. Second, economic reopening continues. Economic data has consistently beaten expectations since March as the economy has reopened. GDP growth in the third quarter may possibly reach a record 30% annualized. Retail sales have also passed their pre-pandemic peak and housing is booming per the U.S. Census Bureau. Higher stock prices help support spending via, spending via the wealth effect and more stimulus help from Congress may still be on the way. Third, earnings estimates are rising. Earnings estimates rose during the second quarter of this year and have continued to climb higher. Since stock price is often a function of expected earnings, increased estimates bode well for current price valuations. Fourth, expected winner, expect the winners to continue to carry us. The so-called work from home stocks have powerful secular tailwinds that have only strengthened during the pandemic. We estimate more than half of the S&P 500 is either unaffected by the pandemic or actually benefiting from it, with more than 40% of the index coming from technology, digital media, and e-commerce. So, in conclusion, we expect to see some further upside to the stocks over the remainder of this year, but may continue to be a bumpy ride as we navigate some serious ongoing dark clouds like COVID, election uncertainty, elevated U.S.-China trade tensions, and rapidly expanding national debt. Welcome to investing. Stick to your investment plan and enjoy the ride. That's it for this week's market update. Stay well, everyone.